we're making our wallet cute I am gonna be running errands today so I'm like what a perfect day for my coach wallet to get here and I got this on sale for those wondering I paid like $43 for this and tell me this isn't a cute little wallet because the wallet I currently have is honestly two years old second downside that I don't like about this wallet is that it's bulky and long and I wanted something compact like this where I could carry it in my wrist. I just basically wanted something that I could throw on my wrist because with this one, if I was carrying things, I would have to play Jenga, put this under my armpit, and this kinda is leading for me to lose my wallet. So I just wanted something more secure. So we're gonna put all our things in here into this wallet. I do also have a bunch of cards. I don't know why debit cards here. And I want to have a smaller wallet so I don't need to be carrying unnecessary things because honestly I do carry things that aren't necessary and that I will need on a daily basis. Right here we're gonna throw my ID. Tell me this isn't cute. Like you need my ID police officer? Don't worry, I got you. It's right here. I almost flashed my address but do you guys want to see my ID picture? I feel like it's pretty average. I was annoyed because it was mid-summer and it was so hot in the DMV. It was not it. I, in the summer, I couldn't handle the heat to be honest. I prefer winters over summers. Winters are superior. But I just slid my ID in there. And now, let me just hurry up and do this real quick because I got errands and I have an appointment that I have to be there at 1 and it's 11.59. So I have 15 minutes to get out my house. You know me, always on a time crunch, always, and I'm trying to get better on that. I also got a keychain because I wanted to upgrade, and you know, be that it girl with the aesthetic wallet and key fob, and just, you know, your keys. But it turns out that this key fob is smaller than this one, so I don't even think it's gonna fit. We're gonna check real quick, but to be honest, I don't even think I'm gonna return it. I hate returning stuff with a passion. The reason I'm not stressing because this was only like six dollars, but still, I should probably return it and get one that fits my keys, right? Let's just see if it fits. But again, I highly doubt it will fit because it's legit like a little bit smaller maybe if i could stretch it again i don't think it's gonna be possible or does it look like it's gonna fit i have a little bit of hope it's so cute but it doesn't fit on a real note, I think I could possibly stretch this out with the, um, what is it called? Air? Why am I having brain fart today? A hair dryer or maybe a heat gun as well. I have a heat gun at work, so I think I could stretch this, honestly. So we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work one way or another, but we'll worry about that later. Let's just start heading out because I'm about to run late. I haven't even bothered to put deodorant, but the deodorant I do use is this cashmere mist one. This I love. I kid you not. When I tell you this work stays all day long, even after you sweat, even after you run, it leaves the same scent so like i do not have bad bo at all and let me tell you i know i would have bad bo i would because i even went you know i went the um the natural deodorant way with the nature's deodorant let me tell you i got an allergic reaction to the lavender deodorant where i would start breaking out in hives first second i think i read i would have to apply it multiple times a day but then again i know the reason for that is because it's aluminum free but anyways i don't want to be smelling bad and the hives just did it for me i was like you know what i can't use it no more but i've been using this it is a little pricey i'm not gonna lie <laughs> wait hold on let me put the other in real quick i'm about to flash you guys ignore my bed i didn't do my bed but that's something quick that I could get done once i get back but this is pricey but i bought this already a month ago and i still haven't run out this was 36 dollars but again when i tell you 
it works it does wonders and it's not those deodorants when you wash off there's deodorants especially men's deodorants that you shower and you still feel like you have deodorant yeah you won't have that problem with that one but this is not an ad so let me stop raving about it and let's head out now because it is i'm like panicking 12 13 and i'm still home and my appointment is at one finally made it outside because i was stalling for the longest in my apartment oh my god i gotta work on my time management and I think someone is waiting for the parking, so we gotta head out ASAP. And they are a police officer. Ah! Sometimes I don't know if they're catfishing me. That sticker they put in the back of their cards that says PAL. Like, are you a police officer or are you not? Or are you just trying to scare me because you do indeed scare me? Um, although I do also scare people away with my car because um, it's a typical cop car. But let's start heading now. Let's start heading now. Let's start heading now. I'm panicky, but it's my fault because I gotta work on my time management. But okay, let's head out because I'm telling you, I think they are waiting for me. I just ran into another issue. Okay, I'm going to an appointment OBGYN. I'm gonna have to pee in a cup and I don't need to pee. And I don't have water on me, so I stopped by to get water real quick. My friend is gonna give me a water bottle. Like, throw Hi. your stickers. <laughs> oh my god, she's laughing at me. My stickers is decked out with Goku. Oh my god. But look at her. Oh no, I was about to show off my shirts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Betray. 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 Bye, thank you, I love you. She came through, she saved the day. I should be there to be honest, like in 10 minutes. And it's 12.30. So I'll get there at 12.40 and then I have five minutes to park. So I'll be there like 10 minutes early. Okay, okay. so in my defense, I'm not that late. I'm late, but I'm not late. I'm late because I like being there early. I kid you not, I hate when that happens. There is a parking spot over there and someone just cut out right now. That is the biggest thing I hate. And I hate using the word hate, but like... <sighs> I made it on time. I legit was pissing myself and I didn't even have to pee in a cup today. Oh my god, it was so funny because I was holding my pee for dear life. I'm literally there talking to the midwife, like shaking my leg. And then I just look at her, tell her. Do I have to pee in a cup today? She's like, no. You have to use the bathroom, right? And I'm like, definitely. Can I just go real quick? And she's like, yeah, go. Because I was going to give myself a UTI just because I thought I needed a pee in a cup, which I didn't even have to do. But finished my appointment go get checked up annually that's my best advice i could give to you guys just go get checked up annually it's really important for your health especially us girls so go to the OBGYN. but everything seemed fine i did get a little bit of pills to fix my breakthrough bleeding which is something i've been struggling with a lot and it's annoying so the only advice i could give to women right now your best friends are gonna be probiotic pills and boric acid sub no what are they called inserts just inserts those i swear by and are so healthy and even recommended by my midwife so Mm, yeah, let's go to Dollar Tree now because I want to get a couple of things that I'll get to in a bit. Hi, Mama. Hi, Ma. I'm looking for glass bulbs like this because I'm going to change my plants into a pond. Look what I found in the dollar section. These are for sugar or salt, but I think I'm gonna use them as decoratives. I think I have my list so far. I got sidetracked and added stuff that wasn't on my list, but I got Bounty. I got, what else I needed? I already forgot. Oh, what I forgot was the water and then toothpaste. We came to TJ Maxx, but I'm trying to look for Hello Kitty blankets, but I don't find none. Look, I see nothing that's Hello Kitty. But what I did found were these cute aesthetic pink cups. And they're super thick, so they won't break. Because I bought some Ikea ones, but they broke within one week. The only Hello Kitty stuff I found were these soap dispensers. And these cups, but I'm not liking them. I can't go out with my mother. 
because we spent money but we also found the elevator we went through the stairs and let me tell you it reeks like piss i don't know this vlog is just about piss i think We sold a bag from the Planet Embroidery Inventory. So I'm gonna go get a Nike bag. If you guys are curious, I've been selling inventory that has been sitting here for so long as in Nike bags, messenger bags. That's about most of the items I've listed because honestly we have a bunch of things and I'm going through sections little by little. But let's go get a bag because the lady that purchased my Nike bag she said that she needed it by, I think, Sunday. So hopefully if I ship it out by today, which is Tuesday, it gets to her by Sunday. I'm hoping and praying it does. She said she's not going to die if it doesn't arrive. But you know, we always like making customers happy. But let's go get that bag in the scary basement. <laughs> compared to the past times I've come downstairs because I always drag my sister down with me because I am scared of the dark one. I am scared of rodents. There is rodents. If you know anything about living in New York City, rodents are a thing, especially in basements, especially in old houses like this one. This is an old house. So um, that's another thing I hate, but if the camera catches something, I swear I'm never stepping foot in the basement. Look at this. Tell me this is not scary. You can't even see anything. Oh my god. Lord Jesus. And I'm technically not alone, right? You guys are coming with me. No, I'm actually shitting myself. Okay, the light is right here. Okay, we're safe. Another scary room. Okay. We are officially safe. This is where we keep the bags and some other inventory, but the Nike bags are over there. I swear we have boxes over boxes over boxes, which could quite be overwhelming because you don't know where to start to sort things out and start selling stuff. So it's like I'm tackling one section at a time because we still have the top. But anyways, the bags are in this box. So this is one of the Nike bags I sold. If you guys are curious and are interested, I'll have my Depop link down below. But this is the Nike bag. I'm selling these for $38. I have it listed for $40, but you can negotiate with me. I'm not that strict, but yes, this is what I have to type. It honestly was more scary coming out than going in. We are about to unbox some plants I've been eyeing since I first started my plant journey. This is from Vuno Plants and I also did mention that I am on a strict plant ban but that was two months ago and it might seem to you guys that that was last week because you probably saw the video last week but it's been two months so I am off the list okay just so we could be on the same page. Here's the problem I don't remember what other plants I did get. I know the one that I've been wanting for a while but the other one I totally forgot what plants I got? I lied, I just remembered. Here is Bruno's plants little cards that they always add in their boxes. They are pretty heavy, so that means that the soil is pretty moist and wet, and I don't like that, so I might have to repot these. But I have the feeling in my heart that this is the alocasia. So let's open this one up. But what kind of alocasia are you guys guessing? Alocasia dragons. Bread. She does have a little yellow leaf, but that's always due to the shipping. So not the seller's fault at all. Oh my god, yeah, the soil is drenched. I'm gonna have to change the soil ASAP. We're gonna do that right after this because you guys can tell that is wet, not breathable soil, especially for my indoor apartment. Since I don't get a lot of airflow in this apartment, my apartment is a apartment that is really humid, so I have to be careful with the soil I use, and I always have to have a fan on. This is my syngonium I've been eyeing for a minute. It has a yellow leaf. Okay, we are gonna repot these babies ASAP because I'm pretty sure the soil is really wet as well due to the yellowing and it being in a box it did take a little bit longer to ship than usual which is surprisingly and annoying 
because typically with UPS, I get the items within three days, but right now it took a whole week. The pink in this new leaf umbrella lean. But talking about the color pink, quick TJ Maxx haul, that day, I got home and passed out, and these bags have been sitting here for a couple of days, but you know, um, life happens, so don't judge me. We got some cute, aesthetically pleasing pink cups that I'm super excited to open up and wash, of course. I am gonna go through my cabinets because I have cups that are mismatched, that have no caps, and I just wanna have more aesthetically pleasing dishware and utensils. So that is why we're gonna trade these and throw out some into the trash because there are also cups that I have that are chipped, and I just wanna get rid of those cups. And I also did buy some Ikea cups that are just not it and they break so easily and I feel like it's a hazard when I'm washing dishes because it happened to me twice already where I was washing them and it broke while I was washing them. I'm gonna end up cutting my hand like I just cut my hand right now with this tripod. And I also did get this lash curler because mine broke and this lash curler was only $6. I didn't even tell you the price I got the cups for. They weren't that bad. They were for $13 and they are really thick and sturdy. From Target, I I got these little cute decoratives. I didn't know the way to say cactuses, like multiple cactuses. I would have thought like cactuses, but if I'm not wrong, it's cacti. Or am I wrong? I think I might be wrong now because it sounds a little off. Then I also went to Dollar Tree and I got these vases because I'm gonna repot some of my plants, which is gonna probably be in my next video, where I just wanna change the soil and use lechuza pond, which is basically a bunch of tiny rocks, which I don't know how that works, but I'm, I'm excited to try that out because people I know have been using that instead of soil and their plants are thriving, especially alocasias. These are the two sizes I did get. I got a small one which this would be for my four inch plants and this one will be for my six inch plants but i am getting carried away when i should be cooking i am cooking right now i'm making enchiladas pero de mole so let me turn the stove on because my chicken is about to be done i was cooking while i was doing the plan unboxing you know your girl be multitasking at its finest so i'm gonna start prepping this mole which I have a quarter left. The mole, for those wondering, is so easy and fast to make and it is so delicious. You literally buy it in this container. I buy the Santa Marta one. And all you do is put the paste, it's just the paste. I like doing it little by little. So I have my pot right here. Then we are gonna use the chicken's broth. 